Hi my beautiful bubbles, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a part two to hiring random builders on Fiverr to build me a Bloxburg house, except this video is with a little bit of twist. While scrolling Fiverr, I realized that a majority of the content there was full of people who claim to have built popular Bloxburg speed builds. So today, we will be going undercover and hiring these people to see if their Bloxburg building skills meet up to their real photos that they really just stole off of Google Images. In no way in this video am I trying to bully anyone or trying to out these people. I understand the hustle, trying to make that money. For the sake of this video, we will have their names blurred on Roblox and on Fiverr, just so nobody attacks them, because please guys, we're not trying to attack people here. We're just doing the experiment, see what happens. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on Fiverr and find our first contestant. So earlier today, I came across this page. This house is obviously done by Ikarati. Wait, how do you say her name? Ikatori. There we go. And this is obviously Annex. You can literally see him standing there. I know both of these builds because they're very, very popular. I've seen them multiple times. And so we're going to see what happens here if we hire her to build this house and see if her skills match up to these beautiful builds that we have in front of us. And her bio here is really sweet. I would like to help everyone out saving up for ice skates. Wanted them for ages. Like what? I really want to help her get ice skates, honestly. Like if anything, I just want to support this gal. I can't tell if I want to get the small house, the standard house, or the mansion. Very large house details for seven bedroom spaces. See, I don't have that many friends to fill those bedrooms up, so let's go for the average house. Are you willing to log on every day? Yes, I am. And I guess that's all the information she needs. So, okay, so we were finally able to make our way into the same server. It took a bit, but we're gonna load up this Fiverr build plot because I'm all ready for her to start building my house. There she is. Look at her little stinky queen and everything. We'd love to see it. She said, sorry, what style? And I said, do whatever you want. Surprise me. It doesn't have to be very big either. So I'm just gonna let her, you know, work her magic with my plot and see how this goes. While we are waiting for this, I'm going to start another order for another Fiverr builder and see if they respond. So while scrolling, I came across this girl. This build I looked up, it's stolen from YouTube. So is this one and so is this one. So all this is obviously stolen. However, I love her description because it says, hello, I've been playing Boxer for years. I can either build your house or I can decorate your house. Every picture you see on my page is an actual house. I have built which these are not actual houses she has built this is literally stolen okay so she's asking me more details than the last girl which is good i really like this question do you want it to seem like a family live in the house i don't know how to answer this but i'm gonna say sure so here we have my answers i would like a summer themed family home i'm craving the color orange so if you can incorporate it that would be great how many bedrooms three bathrooms two uh, i do not want it to be realistic and sure it can look like a family lived in it so we're gonna approve this information and start this order okay so back over the blocksburg it looks like she started on this exterior. She got a nice little fence. In this place, it looks like it's gonna be big. But for a bit of this video, I'm going to speed up her building so you can get an idea of what she's doing over time, and we will check back in later. So enjoy! Okay, so it's been a few days since this build was complete, but I thought I'd tour it because I've actually have not seen the inside yet. So this is what the outside of the build looks like. Obviously, it's not the same as the photos she advertised, but she was so, so sweet to me and just super kind. And she also asked me if I was filming a YouTube video, which made me really nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm being exposed. That aside though, the build definitely is not the same as the photos that were advertised. Um, very different style. The front yard is really cute. I like her hack with these big lily pads and you know the pathway is very nice and the different colored trees. So she has some nice stuff down but it's time to look on the inside. I am really really sorry if I'm being too brutal but I'm gonna be honest because even if they didn't lie about their profile I would still probably be honest about the build and my personal opinion on it. So this is what the inside looks like. I really like this entranceway. It's smart. It's creative. It's different. And over here we have the hello who is this? There's a random girl on my wall. I'm gonna keep that here just for the laugh of it. And we got some monkeys also on my wall. But this is cool. They did some hacks here, it looks like. So they didn't do a bad job. Make today count. I like that. There's a fire extinguisher next to some logs, just in case the logs catch on fire for no reason. I'm really sorry. I do not mean to sound mean. But like, why? What are all these bags here for? Do they all have dead bodies in them? I'm just a slight bit confused, okay? This is not supposed to be bully mint or anything like that. There's just a bunch of towels on the wall. It just a little bit confuses me. Okay, it's nice looking. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean. I definitely got what is deserved for the money. I mean, $10 is definitely worth $10. You should not be 
afraid to be yourself. I like this. Look, she's giving me positive quotes. Over here, I don't really... This looks like a shrine to me. I'd like to understand this more. And then, ooh, she included a home gym. I really like that. Work hard, dream big. Exactly. Hustle hard, girl. Over here is the backyard. I really like this backyard. I like the division we have here going on. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs. This looks like the garage. A nice see-through garage. I like that. We have a library. Okay. It seems as though, you know, she got a little tired of building because you can definitely see how the front was really detailed, but then when you get farther along in the build, stuff is a little less, you know, detailed. But this build does give me like 2018 vibes, maybe. Just slightly. Okay, that's not meant to be an insult, but especially this braid right here. You cannot tell me this image does not give you 2008 Bloxburg aesthetic vibes. Like, she put in the effort. She took a few hours, so she obviously put in the effort, and the effort is what counts. So, I'm not gonna beat her up too much because I respect the hustle. But in all, this just personally isn't my style of house. There's definitely a lot of things I like about it, but I'm just gonna be brutally honest. Like, it's just not my cup of tea. Let me know what you guys think of it in the description below. In the description? In the comments below. I'm having a hard time being a YouTuber today. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, so that's it for this tour. And now we're gonna get on to Fiverr Girl number two. I'm back with my second Fiverr builder who is going to build me that summer themed house. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I'm gonna take a little sneaky peek over here at her house. Oh, wait, I'm actually looking forward to this. It's very modern looking. We're trusting these people not to spend all of my money, but there you go, there's a million dollars. I feel slightly being chased right now. <laughs> if this had no context and it was just two girls running down a sidewalk, it would look like I'm being murdered and on a horrifying chase. She said, what's your budget? I said, all of my money. I'm going all out for this video, okay? So we're yet again, I'm going to watch her build for a bit and do a little speed up video. Oh my gosh, no. She's gonna give away my cover. Little does she know she's actually being recorded right now. Um Okay, so here I have my Fiverr build 2.0. I have not seen this at all, but I already finished the order and paid for it and everything. And she was super kind. Both of these girls were super sweet, but we're gonna take a look at this build because so far it looks pretty good on the outside. Like personally, I just don't like how many textures are on the wall, but that's a personal thing. Okay, that's not supposed to be an insult, but the decoration, the gardening, all the trees look stunning. Like I asked for a summer home and she really pulled through with the summer theme. Okay, so let's enter this house. I like all the vines. And whoa, hold on a minute. I have never seen anything like this before. This is so different. So she definitely did the orange vibe. I asked for orange in the build and she did that. And somehow she kind of made it work. Like I was a little skeptical about how she would incorporate orange, but she made it work somehow. Wow, she even added some cereal to make it look like I just went grocery shopping. She really did a good job on the color scheme, I think. Like she did good with what I told her to work with. She asked if it was supposed to be realistic or not. And I said no. And I'm starting to understand why now, because there's a lamp on the floor. And I'm starting to realize maybe that's not so realistic. And then when you go over here to the backyard, we have this little back patio. I love this. She even has bubbles. Guys, she wins. I don't know what competition she was in, but if since she added bubbles, she wins automatically. This looks so nice. I like this over here. We have this cute little seating area with a nice see-through roof. And I think that's very smexy. Smexy. <gasps> Ooh, the living room. I like this living room. This just looks good. She did a really good job on the colors. I like the open ceiling. Let's take a look in here. This looks like a bedroom. I like the doors. I'm interested about the sponge texture. A little bit interesting. Let's head upstairs and we have this cute little like seating arrangement. Look it. There are baskets coming out of this little um, shelf unit thing that's going on right there. Uh, this bedroom. This is not a bedroom. This is a bathroom. I like it. It's very small but she included everything. Yet again we have a lamp on the floor but you know what? I respect the hustle. More of an office space and then over here we have a bedroom. Looks like a little kids room. I like the decals a lot. I 
like how if a baby sleeps in here, their head's gonna be decapitated. I respect that too. And then the final room, it looks like this is the full bedroom and it looks good. Is that an uncolored decal? Disgusting. We do not like uncolored decals. I think she did a really good job with the theme I gave her. So honestly, I'm gonna rate this place a good like eight out of 10. I am very thoroughly surprised, but like in a good way because I had very low expectations for these builds, but I am very surprised for how they turned out and I'm pretty happy with them. I honestly will keep them. Anyways, guys, it's gonna be it for today's video. I actually enjoyed touring these builds and interacting with these very lovely builders, even though I know they did lie on their profile. Obviously, they're still very sweet people and we respect the hustle. And this video was in no way supposed to be any hatred towards anyone. I was just doing an experiment to see how the builds would turn out. So much love to these builders. In the past, I have done a video similar to this where I hired people on Fiverr to build my home and they turned out really good. So if you'd like to check out that video, which I did like a year ago, it'll be linked down below in the description. So go make sure to check that out if you're interested. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see y'all later. Bye my beautiful bubbles. Thank you.